20 years after Hurricane Katrina turned the Gulf Coast upside down, killing thousands and displacing more than a million people. A new warning about New Orleans $15 billion flood defenses. A new study says the walls meant to protect the city are sinking fast. CBS's Katie Weiss has the details. When Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast 20 years ago, the storm surge reaching 10 to 20 feet was no match for New Orleans. Water rushed in as dozens of levees failed, flooding 80 percent of the city and leaving over 1,300 dead. Nearly 15 billion was spent in the aftermath to strengthen New Orleans's concrete flood walls. But a new study from Tulane University finds some of them have been sinking nearly two inches a year. It's a wake up call. In this Mead Allison is the study's co-author. What do you think might happen if this is not um, addressed? There is certainly a potential in the future if these rates continue to degrade our level of protection of the flood protection system. Using satellite technology, researchers tracked ground elevation shifts between 2002 and 2020. They found more rapid sinking in some wetlands, neighborhoods, and even near New Orleans's airport. It's just sad. It's sad. Cynthia Viltis lives in one of those vulnerable communities. When we purchased our place um, in 2022, they said this is the best place to be because it didn't flood. Much of New Orleans lies below sea level, and as sea levels rise and the ground sinks, the threat of a deadly storm surge increases. If trends continue, researchers worry the area marshes could become open water in just 10 years. If nothing else than the disaster of of Katrina of epic proportions, at least it got us a really high quality um, protection system. Our goal is to just make sure it's going to be here in 100 years. Katie Weiss, CBS News.